Hey, what's up everyone? Back again playing Battle for Middle Earth 1, and I'm on the second level, and I'm going to be playing as Rohan. So this should be good. Attack on Rohan. Um, I'll go this one, because command limit helps you later on quite a fair bit. Rohan lies at the center of Middle Earth. These horse lands have long been the site of war and conflict. But its people now seek peace and freedom. Well, I would say so. <laughs> All right. Any cutscenes? No. Must be prepared for war. Must Everyone able should stand ready to defend Rohan. Build some farms so we actually have resources. Oh, I've got a bear. All right, I'll take you guys. Come on. Do the run thing. Um, no, I don't want that. That's a bit dramatic, don't you think? Jesus Christ! So, Urukai. Goblin? Ah, oh, fuck that. Just go for a run. Go over there. Right. Fuck! I'm out of resources. Basically, you only need farms to produce resources in this... RTS game, so it is, in that way, generally simple. Camps. Build camps that can also produce resource. If you get to build farms, or you can... Yeah, it depends on the size. You can build different size camps and shit. So it's pretty basic as far as RTS go. But I like the Rohirrim as a nation. They're quite powerful. Alright. Let us hunt some orc. Hunt some orc. Oh, hello. Go back to Okay, since my population's virtually full. Let's suicide this lot. Do not fear them. Oh, I can build then you got these camps. Right, build that. So, these are the levels in between the main story levels, and you basically just have to destroy the other team, taking over other places in between to build up your resources, command limit, as you progress through the game. You can do it! No, you're meant to die! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that was a bit. That sounds a bit horrifying. Well, they're brave, I'll give them that. Alright, new farm. So, I think I'll use this to build. Oh, I can't build upgrades. You can upgrade your units, but apparently not quite yet. So, I think this is just going to be, build a few soldiers, Let's see how the fuck you go. Alright. Maybe I need to level up a bit, so we'll send him out. My phone's going off like a rocket. You can do it. Oh, what what the fuck are you doing? There we go. I probably should have demounted him, to be honest. There we go. It's fine. Um. Yeah, build that. Alright, come on. See, if you destroy, like, trolls' nests, goblins' nests, or anything like that, it gives you money and becomes quite useful. I guess these are little villages that I can't do anything with. Pretty sure if you have bad guys, you can destroy them. And they give you money, but 
None of your ass. Oh, shiny chest. Give me the shiny chest. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Oh, fuck. Alright. Alright, I need to build more horsemen. Where? Pricks. Die. As far as Isengard goes though, they're also quite powerful. Mordor on the other hand, in the evil campaign when you have to play as them, that can be quite agonizingly painful. I hate Mordor as a faction. Gondor goes pretty well. They're pretty good archers and shit, but they're also, they can be quite weak. Kill him. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nearby units are, oh, I like that. Um... Oh, oh god, okay. It's pretty even, right? Okay, that's their base. Alright, alright, I know where they are now. Hurry up, Jesus fucking Christ. I s you see me, that's a bit, that's a bit weird. All right, charge. Let us hunt some ore. Be on guard. Fuck this, slow. So, I have to apologize, but these levels can be quite boring, especially in the beginning. But later on, they can get quite interesting. Like the level you have to do before the Black Gate. It's just agonizing. I there's some healing. Alright, go. See who wins. Oh, they are weak as shit. Oh then again. Come on. You can do it. Look at them. Look at them fighting. They look so funny. Oh. Oh. Dead. I love the, like, voice acting in this. It's kind of nice. I'm glad they've tried to take it from the movies. What are you doing? You are terrible. How come you get a nice shiny ring and these guys get blobs? That I never understood. I know you're a hero and shit, but come on. See, I was thinking of building these a few times until I get this to level 2. And building them, because they're a piece of shit, but if it takes that long to get them killed... I don't... Th I don't want to do that. It's gonna take me like 10 years. Dead. Oh, there we go. Stay back. If I must. Alright. You are quite weak. Off your horse. Come on, Abe. I thought you'd be better than that. Ooh. Fucked him right up. But when it comes to Rohan, I would have to also admit Abe is probably their best hero as well. Which is kind of depressing. Because, <laughs> like, you get Aowen, Theoden, and all that, and they're pretty average themselves. 
I think he's still stronger than Boromir, though. I'm just sad. Oh, there we go. Go down there. What are you doing? There we go, come on. Dead. Oi! There we go. They have a walk thing. They wouldn't dare use it. Attack them, come on. Oh no, fuck that, no. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, no, fuck. Retreat. It's not fair, too many. Alright, let's finish this off. Ah, that's like a, what I want to see. Oh, well, don't just stand there. You've got four feet, move. Well, what if it's not? Come on. Where are they coming from? What the fuck? Kill them. Dead. Come on. They might have a base elsewhere. That could be what's happening. Oh Jesus. Take 10 years. Well, that did a bit. That's good. That makes me happy. Where? I'm in the middle of their base. What are you talking about? Yeah, fuck you right up. You're not even... There we go. So yeah, there is a lot of tedious levels in this game. There is a lot of just destroy the enemy base when you play the through the campaign. There we go, victorious. Love the pretty symbol. It's nice. Ooh. Oh, I didn't do the bonus. Fuck. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah, uh, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Thirty. The Elven city of Lost Lorien. Right, I'll cut that off here. Doodles.